Good morning class. Our topic for today's discussion is all about motor behavior. So, what is motor behavior? It is the study of how we produce movements and motor behavior are divided into three disciplines. We have motor control, motor development, and motor learning. Before we are going to proceed to motor skills discipline, let us first discuss what is really a motor learning. So motor learning is a learning that could change in the capability of person to person as skills that must be informed from a relatively permanent improvement and performance as a result of practice or experience. The example of motor learning. Motor learning involves learning a skills task and then practicing with a goal in mind until the skills executed automatically. Learning to play a song on the piano, this will initially takes a lot of thoughts and practice before the task is automatic and executed skillfully. There are three stages of learning motor skills, cognitive base, an associated base, and autonomous base. And it has also three disciplines, the motor control, motor development, and motor learning. Motor control focus on the study of postures and movements and the mechanism that underlie them. It is also the process of initiating, direction, and breeding purposeful voluntary movements. For example is picking up a small item with the index finger, pointer finger, or forefinger, and the thumbs. These examples are called fine motor skills. The opposite of fine motor skills are the gross motor skills. Example of these are skills are controlling in weaving on arm in greeting. So motor development is also under the discipline of motor learning. Motor learning means the physical growth and strengthening of a child's bones. Muscles and ability to move and talk his or her surroundings. One great example of motor development are dealing the phone, turning doorknobs, case, and locks, putting a flag into a socket, buttoning and unbuttoning cloth, opening and closing zippers, fastening stops and backless, trying tying shoelaces brushes teeth and flossing. Third, we have the motor learning. Motor learning is a change in the capability of a person to person a skill that must be informed from a relatively per permanent improvement in performance as a result of practice or experience. So overall, Motor function is very critical component of human behavior because it embodies the ultimate executive of a behavior response. Thank you.